Everybody, I'm joined uh, with uh, with the majority leader of City Council, Mike Sabatino. I'm also joined with uh, Sarah Sage from Native Sage, she's somebody from St. Native Sage's office. Uh, we have uh, Councilman Anthony Marathi who's with us. Uh, we have our union leaders, uh, the Firefighters Union, Barry McGoey, and we also have uh, uh, PJ from the Fire Officers Union is with us. Uh, Commissioners Meyer, Sweeney, Matt Gallagher, Corporation Council, of course, uh, Lou Navarro is head of uh, veteran, of veteran Affairs, or the Office of Veteran Affairs, rather. Um, today we gather to celebrate what we will call as a great accomplishment uh, for our city because we're going to help out in the recovery of what's been going on in Puerto, Puerto Rico as we donate and officially send off this uh, almost 20 year old fire truck that has uh, been good, put to good use here in the city of Hills. As you all know, Yonkers is the hilliest city, the second hilliest city in all of America. So uh, our equipment has to be pristine. Our equipment has to be uh, able to climb the mountains at a given notice. And this fire truck has done it for 20 years, but it's seen its best days here in Yonkers, but is still good enough to be able to send to another department that is in need of fire apparatus. So that along with 60 sets of firefighter bunker gear, 60 flashlights, and some safety harness and other gear have all been uh, uh, made available uh, for our, our friends in, Port, in the municipality of Carolina. And I'd like to uh, ask uh, the majority leader of the city council, Mike Sabatino, uh, if you'd like to say a few words first. Uh, as you know, this is a partnership we've had uh, with the city council, part of Pineda Isaac as well. Uh, we couldn't be here today, but very much part of, of the, today's efforts and today's success. So on behalf of the city council, I'd like to ask Mike Sabatino to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You know, this is a great thing that we're able to do this. Uh, we've made great use of this piece of equipment, but now it's going to go to a, uh, an area of uh, the United States uh, that is in desperate need of, of this equipment. Uh, you know, they're still recovering from the hurricane, and um, we're just glad that we're able to do this. I want to thank uh, all of the people involved in the, the, uh, the fire union leaders uh, because everybody worked together as this on a team team effort and of course this was a unanimous vote by the City Council uh, to approve this uh, so we're going to send her off to continue to do some more work and hopefully she'll she'll last another 20 years down in Puerto Rico at least there'll be less winter salt that the truck will have to deal with you know better climate so uh, this is a great thing and I'm, I'm happy we were a part of it Kind of like a retirement job, but not really, almost. Uh, we have our Office of Veterans Affairs run by uh, Lou, Lou DeVera, who has done such a great job in spearheading this effort, making the connection and allowing us to, to uh, be able to put this all together. So, Lou, you want to come say a couple words? Good morning, everybody. Um, this whole project started uh, October 2017. Okay, uh, we identified excess or outdated material for Yonkers, and I asked the mayor, could I have one of these trucks? The mayor says, if you can get it there, we'll, get, we'll give it to, to Car Carolina, by the way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, what we wanted to do was form a partnership between Carolina and Yonkers. Uh, Yonkers has uh, been there for Puerto Rico, whether it was parades or whatever, we've always been in the forefront. This fire engine uh, was the idea of a partnership between the fire department, DPW, the legal department, the mayor's office, uh, who else? Oh, and the city council, of course, okay? They did everything that we needed to do to become a sister city 
in Yonkers, uh, with Yonkers and the uh, Carolina, Puerto Rico. The mayor actually is looking forward to the arrival of this vehicle. Uh, the uh, equipment that was uh, the mayor mentioned, okay, it's already in the water, ready to get there. So uh, I just want to again thank the mayor. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, my partner in this whole thing was uh, Captain Danny Alicia and and Chris Mitchell. Okay, and of course uh, the, the fire uh, unions that made a lot, uh, opened a lot of doors for us to get in here and Puerto Rico. So thank you very much and I hope it comes to good use. Thank you so much. And this is a win-win for both uh, the city of Yonkers and the city of Carolina. And, um, yeah. and, and of course I want to say thank you to uh, the fire officer who's involved, the firefighters that are involved, uh, the representatives, obviously the firefighter union, firefighters officers unions, because they've been there steadfast, uh, ready to be helpful to our our brothers in uh, Puerto Rico. And you know, uh, Department of Public Works was very much a part of this as well. Uh, not long after the hurricane, uh, there were how many uh, teamsters? There were six teamsters uh, went to uh, Puerto Rico to uh, to help clear the streets and get the power restored. So Yonkers has had this partnership. It continues to be a great partnership uh, to help our fellow Americans. And so uh, with that, um, I want to thank, our, like I said, thank our fire department, our brass, our commissioner, who I'm going to let say a couple of words in a second uh, for this endeavor and know that uh, we um, have a great uh, Puerto Rican community in the city of Yonkers uh, that's very much uh, a part of our everyday life and makes Yonkers the beautiful city that it is and very much supportive of this effort to have this type of relationship with uh, with this municipality. So with that, I'd like to ask our commissioner if you might close out for us. Uh, good morning. Uh, when uh, the mayor and the city council reached out to the fire department to see if we could make this uh, dream a reality at the time, uh, after seeing the news footage and the devastation, what that storm did to the the island of Puerto Rico and the, the small towns there, uh, it was certainly an honor and a privilege for us as the Yonkers Fire Department, the support of all its members, the support of both unions, Local 628 and UFOA, to do whatever we could to help the residents and the firefighters in Catalina uh, protect their residents going forward and keep their members safe as well. So this has been a team effort the whole way. Uh, we're honored and privileged to do so. Uh, it took a while to get here. There's a lot of paperwork involved here. Matt uh, Gallagher from Corporation Council, they, they, they facilitated all the legal paperwork. But again, uh, this apparatus has served the city of Yonkers as well as the first line apparatus and as a spare. And hopefully you can do the same for the residents of Carolina going forward. So thank you very much. Okay, with that, any questions? I have a question, Mayor. Do you intend to be there for the to deliver this truck? And uh -huh. if you are, I volunteer if you need the cameraman. Good. Okay, that's a deal. That's a deal. Uh, <laughs> at this point, I have no plans to go down there, um, but I certainly would love to. But at this point, I got uh, other plans that are going to take me to June 25th. So, yes. The, uh, well, as you know, we have to replace our equipment. And so over the last couple of years, we've replaced some 12 or so uh, pieces of equipment. We keep some as backup. Uh, then we sell the others, basically sell the others on eBay. And so um, this particular one, we're not going to sell on eBay. We're going to uh, send it off to Puerto, to, uh, Puerto Rico, to uh, Carolina. And uh, it's, um, you know, usually when you sell this stuff, believe it or not, as much as it looks nice, you get you get the money that it's that it's worth in scrap. You don't really get much more for uh, uh, fire trucks that are you know been around for 20 years. But um, we see this equipment as valuable, especially for uh, a department that doesn't have a piece of backup equipment. They'll be able to use this uh, and save lives.
Well, it's as you know, it's it's going there to be the backup equipment. All right, it's not going there to be their frontline uh, uh, equipment, but it's going there to be their backup because it's good enough for that. And um, it's uh, it's hard to, to take a piece of 20 year equipment and put this equipment in service in the city of Hills uh, because you know we don't want to run the risk of this uh, this failing on us in the, in the cold weather and what have you because we need to have the fines. Thank God we're, uh, we're more fortunate that we have better equipment uh, here in Yonkers and that's uh, the way we like it. Uh, this was all done through uh, the Office of Veteran Affairs. So. Yeah, it's not costing us anything to ship it, okay. you know, which is a pretty big expense, as I know. Uh, well, why is that? Do you Puerto have the Rico, answer? The, the City Council of Puerto Rico and Carolina, uh, both firemen collected money, and they found funds through a nonprofit. It's going to go from here to Florida, from Florida to San Juan. That should take about 30 days. It's going to be on a, on a cargo ship. You know, as I say, no good deed goes unpunished, but in this particular case, uh, it will go as a real good deed and will serve uh, the firefighters and protect the residents of Carolina, which is now a sister city, just so you know. It is a sister city. It is a sister city. What is the official sister city? Well, we have several, but this is one. I don't know. What do you what do you think this truck weighs? How much is it worth? Um, if, if we put it on eBay, we, we could get anywhere between five and ten grand. They would buy it mostly for scraps, you know, replace the cars. It'd be a little more valuable because the France isn't made anymore. American France uh, doesn't make any more fire trucks. As is, but the Yonkers Fire Department, both the, the fire fighters and officers, as well as DPW, keep great care of their equipment. That's why you always see firefighters, when they're not fighting a fire, they're taking care of their, their apparatus because that's what saves their lives. Uh, if you'd like, we'll give you a list of all the fire trucks that go out the door, go on eBay, and, and what they get sold for. <laughs> I'm sure they are, too. All right. Great. Thank you. Yes, I did. I did. I already said it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Get me the get me this. Barry McGoy. Yes. Nice donation for us. This you know this vehicle has reached the, the end of its life, but to Puerto Rico you still can do a lot of good. Yes, absolutely. This is a very valuable vehicle uh, to a town in Puerto Rico 
which doesn't have the funding to uh, purchase additional equipment. So this will come in, uh, be very well used in Puerto Rico. But let's make it clear that this is not the only thing that the Yonkers Fire Department has done for the people of Puerto Rico. No, well, the, the city of Yonkers and the fire department has contributed uh, much equipment, generators, lights, batteries, uh, this fire apparatus, and other things um, from the city and from the fire department. But our unions and our membership have also uh, donated medical equipment, funding, and several have made trips down to Puerto Rico to assist, as well as members of our DPW. So the people of Puerto Rico, after the devastation that they had, has always been on the minds of your members and your, uh, your union. Absolutely. Uh, we have uh, many members of the Yonkers Fire Department who are uh, Puerto Rican heritage and Hispanic heritage, and they're very proud of that. And we're a brotherhood, and we all stick together. So uh, whenever there was an outreach for donations or for asking for assistance, everybody came together to help, and that's what we're very proud of. We're, we're always helping people at work, and if we can help people in Puerto Rico or anywhere else, uh, we will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Lieutenant Alicia, you know that I never miss you every time we have an event. You never miss an opportunity to give me a <laughs> That's correct. I'm a shy guy. I had to pick on you. But, but Lieutenant, what I want to point out is this is not the only thing that your group, you personally, have been involved in helping the people of Puerto Rico. What else have you done? Well, the city of Yonkers has also donated a lot of equipment. I had the pleasure of meeting Sergeant Ramos, uh, Firefighter Diego. Uh, they were very appreciative to have received equipment that uh, our department and uh, the NFPA deems uh, has a life cycle. Uh, of course, we don't have to adhere to Sometimes we do keep all this equipment. It uh, has 100% functionality. Uh, it can be used. And when you're dealing with neighboring cities, uh, that, that don't have the means to buy new equipment, additional equipment, they really do appreciate it. If, if uh, we were in that position, we would be keeping this equipment. This rig here, although it's older, it's, uh, it's still good enough for the residents of Yonkers. And I live a block away from where this rig was in service. So uh, I feel comfortable with this rig being in service. And I know that Carolina is going to be very appreciative of this rig. It'll be their backup rig. They have a, uh, apparently a 2007 rig. This was an 02. So it's a nice backup to have. Their older rig was decommissioned. Uh, I think it might have been a 99. So uh, they're, uh, they're very grateful. And uh, I'm grateful too because I have family from the west to the east coast in Puerto Rico. So I feel like they're giving it to me. Now, what about you and I deliver this truck personally and hand them the keys of course, you give them the keys and I film. I think it's a great idea. I, I think that's a, that's a feel-good story. Uh, I like your idea about the mayor going down there and handing over the keys. That's that's a, a, a better story, I think. Thank <laughs> and you. I would be I would I would be there with you if, if uh, and him if he if he so chooses. And and uh, all the other guys that helped out. Let's go. So, let's go. Yeah. So this is Lieutenant Mitchell, also involved in a lot of stuff. You know that was done for the people of Puerto Rico, water was collected, items were collected. So thank you very much for all that you have done. Thank you.